have been hurt by layoffs, pay freezes, and pay cuts. Meanwhile, folks in Washington are spending our money at record rates, and some federal workers, well, they're sitting pretty in their jobs. But shouldn't those in the nation's capital, shouldn't they feel the pain too? My next guest has a proposal that remedies that and cuts federal spending by $5.5 billion. Joining me now is Republican Colorado Congressman Mike Kaufman. Welcome, Congressman. Thanks for having me. Now, my understanding is that a lot of states, some 24 states or so, have already been furloughing workers. Why do you want to do it at a national level? Well, they certainly have uh, at the state and local level. And in fact, uh, I think uh, California was at 36 days, uh, Ohio 10, and in my own state, Colorado, was at eight days. Uh, this is a proven way to reduce spending, and this will reduce the, the, the deficit for the federal government at $5.5 billion. And nobody should be immune, not, not federal employees and not the Congress of the United States. And it requires a 10 percent pay cut uh, for members of Congress. Is this a government shutdown? No, this is not a government shutdown. In fact, these are not 10 consecutive days uh, at all. And so I think that the government will still function with this, uh, but the taxpayer is going to save a little bit of money. And I think all of government will feel the same pain that state and local governments are feeling, and certainly the uh, folks that work in the private sector are feeling. You know, uh, you also suggest cut, cutting the salaries of senators and representatives. How well is that going over with your buddies in Washington? <laughs> Well, well, first of all, I think the, the Congress did stop an automatic pay increase uh, uh, this last year, and so I think that the, there's a precedent there. Obviously, I'm trying to go further. I think the members of Congress certainly understand how angry the American people are uh, at the Congress, uh, at the conduct of this Democrat-controlled Congress, and this election is going to be a referendum on that. So I, I think that folks are a little scared in Washington, as they ought to be, and so I think we've got a great uh, opportunity for this congressional pay cut. You know, I was uh, surprised to find that senators are making something like $174,000 a year. Do you think that's too much money? I think that the, if we look at the kind of sacrifices that, that people in, in the private sector have made and other people in state and local government, uh, it, it's, it's too high and it ought to go down. You know, there's been a lot of other suggestions on the table, freeze federal spending, all kinds of other ideas for slowing up that drip, drip, drip of federal spending. I guess it's not a drip, it's more like a whoosh. Why is your idea a better idea? Oh, no, I, I think there's going to be a lot of ideas. My idea is uh, only $5.5 .5 billion of, of the equation. Uh, it's an important part, but we need a lot of different ideas because we need to trim spending. We need to get it back to, to the levels uh, before this president came in office, uh, before uh, we need to get back to 2007, 2008 levels. And there's been such a plus up. Uh, the spending has been so reckless. Uh, we've got to get it back down. Otherwise, we're going to drive this country over a cliff. Well, I, I agree with you. And for that reason, I'm going to ask you this question. Your party is suggesting sure. that we extend the Bush tax cuts. Uh, for everybody, up and down the, the, the different tax brackets, no matter who they are. But that's going to cost us a lot of money. So how do you square those two things? We need to save, we need to stop spending, but on the other hand, we need to extend those Bush tax cuts. Well, you know, if in fact, what, what we're talking about is a massive tax increase. It will be, if these uh, tax cuts are not extended, it will be in fact the largest tax increase in American history at, at a time when this, when this economy is, is uh, down. And the net effect of that is going to be it's going to go down further. And so uh, if, if we want a, a job-killing policy, then, then let's, uh, let, let's do this uh, extraordinary tax increase. I think we've got, to, we've got to keep tax rates where they are now uh, and not increase them in a downed economy. What's interesting about the debate, of course, is that a lot of Democrats have defected. They said, hey, we're signing on with this. We think that these tax cuts uh, should be reinstated. They shouldn't go away at the end of the year. Does the Republican Party have any possibility of succeeding in their effort to extend these tax cuts? You know, I, I hope so, and I, I feel that there's, there's certainly a, a possibility that we can. I think the fact that we're, Republicans are unified and, and, the, and a number, an increasing number of Democrats have been defecting, and so I think that gives us the, the ability to, to hopefully uh, uh, stop this tax, massive tax increase from going forward and, and get this money, that the $2 trillion that is sitting on the sidelines, uh, into this economy. And so uh, I, I think we, I, I feel optimistic. Only 100 days left. you got a lot of work to do. Thanks for your time, Congressman. A lot of work to do. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Good